Welcome to another Listener Interlead podcasting tip, where I'll be sharing 30 tips on how coaches can begin to nurture listeners into leads while position themselves as a trusted authority with their very own podcast. Want to get leads and business from your podcast? You're in the right place. Hi, this is Anne-Marie and welcome to another Listener Interlead podcast tip coaches and consultants who want to launch a podcast to nurture listeners into leads, get clients and build their business with their podcast. And this is tip number 17. Now, are you a multi-passionate person who loves to learn, you have many interests and you struggle to define who you are and how you can support people into one succinct statement? Yeah, me too. I'll put my hand up. I struggled with that for years. In fact, if you followed me for a minute, you'd probably have heard me share before how as a multi-passionate individual who loves learning, we need to be mindful not to let our diverse interests water down our message. And I am speaking to myself when I say that, let me tell you, because focusing on too many things without a clear and compelling outcome, which speaks into the outcome our ideal client seeks or seeking, remember the speak to the audience of one in tip number 16. Well, that means if we don't do that and speak to that audience of one with that clear and compelling outcome, That'll mean our message gets lost in the noise. Now, one of the ways that I watered down my message years ago was when I started speaking about social media to business groups. They'd heard about the success that my co-host and I were having as we were leveraging social media to promote our podcast. So they wanted me to share all of our secrets. Now, I was happy to share. However, what inadvertently happened was that my core message of personal branding for executives and entrepreneurs was watered down as I continued to speak about social media until one of my colleagues, my close colleagues, hired a personal brand strategist after completely forgetting that I could have helped her. Now, this was a huge wake-up call for me and it led me to become far more mindful of and strategic about what I spoke about and how I positioned my message, especially on my podcast. Now, I wonder, when it comes to your message, are you building your reputation as a go-to authority in your area of expertise on your podcast? And and, and in actual fact, all of the ways that you're promoting and, and sharing your content, or like me all those years ago, you're watering down your message because of the vast topics you speak about. So I want to ask you to do something in this tip today. I want you to go back and check over the last 10 pieces of content that you've shared across your social media platforms, your blog, your podcast, any other way that you're you know, sharing your content and ask yourself, are these aligned to a clear and concise message? that positions you as a distinguishable, uncopyable, irresistible, trusted authority. And it's a clear area of expertise that you are building your reputation as that trusted authority in that key area or not. And if not, you need to make a decision as to how you're going to refine your one thing. What's that one thing that you want to become known for? What's the combination of your experience, your knowledge, your certifications that will enable you to support your ideal client to achieve their goals and outcomes? Now, for me, it was helping clients to stand out, be heard and become an influential voice in their industry, the trusted authority, the choice versus just a choice for their ideal client and then taking their message onto their own podcast platform so that they could leverage their podcast to nurture listeners into leads, get clients and build their business with the message they continue to share, which is why I'm so passionate about doing this listener into lead series so that you don't make the same mistakes I did and can get results much faster faster with your podcast by speaking to an audience of one and defining your one thing. I'll see you in the next tip.
Do you feel like the world's best kept secret in thinking about starting a podcast to build your visibility and reach? Or maybe you've started a podcast, but you're just not generating the results you'd hoped for. Go ahead and access my profitable and purposeful podcasting masterclass, where I'll show you how with the right strategy in place, you can begin to nurture listeners into leads from your very first episode. Go to www.podcastingwithpurpose.com forward slash listener into lead. That's podcastingwithpurpose.com forward slash listener into lead.